नमस्कार टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट डेटा हैंडलिंग इन पाइथन यूजिंग पांडाव एंड आई विल टीच यू दैट हाउ टू इंस्टॉल पाइथन पांडाव इन टू आर सिस्टम सो लेट्स वॉच द वीडियो टिल द एंड लेट्स बिगिन वॉट इज पांडाव नाउ पांडाव इज अ पाइथन लाइब्रेरी विच इज यूज टू एनालाइज एंड मैनिपुलेटिंग दी डेटा नाउ वेन वी टॉक अबाउट इट इज अ पाइथन लाइब्रेरी इट इज नॉट द इनबिल्ड फंक्शनैलिटी ऑफ पाइथन it is an external library which needs to be installed separately and after that only we can utilize the functionality of it and when we talk about pandas word it is derived from panel data system there are three words and this is a combination of these three words panel data system is equal to pandas and is developed by wes mckinney ab ye to hua chhota sa introduction ki pandas hai kya theek hai अब हम पांडास के बारे में एक एग्जाम्पल लेके बात करते हैं हमने एक एग्जाम्पल लिया कि आ, मुझे थाउजेंड स्टूडेंट्स का एक रिकॉर्ड मेंटेन करना है ठीक है अब उसमें उनके नेम्स आ गए रोल नंबर्स आ गए एडमिशन नंबर्स, देन दी मार्क्स इन ऑल सब्जेक्ट्स, टोटल परसेंटेज एटसेट्रा ओके एंड इफ आई आस्क यू दैट आउट ऑफ दैट पर्टिकुलर एक्सेल शीट फैच आउट द रिकॉर्ड ऑफ टॉप टेन स्टूडेंट्स देन वट विल यू डू you may apply the conditional formatting or any kind of formula right which is all possible in ms excel so when we talk about thousand records it is really simple and easier way to use ms excel formula and conditional formatting but when i talk about the data which is in million or billions then it becomes difficult for ms excel because it becomes slower in that case and if i tell you one interesting fact that by using python pandas i will just write few lines of code and it will be done in seconds how interesting it is right so python pandas is a library which is used to analyze and manipulation of data and when we talk about data we are talking about the large data set and it is providing the powerful tools to sort filter clean and analysis of data right and it is used by the data scientists and it is very helpful in ai also and analytics so let's learn that how to install it because as i told you it is an external library which needs to be installed to pehle hum baat karenge ki hum pandas ko install kaise karte hain aur uske baad dekhenge ki hum usse uski help se data ko fetch out kaise karte hain right so i'll show you practically everything let's go okay so how to install pandas uh, so let me just open my command prompt to open the command prompt i need to press window r key from the keyboard now it is written over here cmd and if it is not written then please type cmd okay click on okay now this is my command prompt wherein i need to set the path of my python folder first okay because i need to have the connectivity of pandas with my python so i'll be having the complete path and to have the complete path just open python ideally click upon file click on open the window appears over here double click on scripts go on to the address bar control c copy the path right now directly come back onto your command prompt type cd space paste it control v okay press enter now the path of my python folder is all set what do i need to do next pip install pandas right as i told you that it is already there into my system but just to show it to you i am typing it and i am going to press enter also okay but it is showing me requirement already satisfied because it is already there but in case if it is not there it will start getting installed into my system and then at the end it will be showing me the message successfully installed pandas right so this is how we install the external library pandas into our system now how to check it whether it is actually installed or not okay so let's move on to your python ideally and type the command import pandas and press enter now after pressing enter if you get another command prompt that means it is successfully installed otherwise we get the error 
and if we get the error we need to resolve it we need to reinstall or maybe it is not installed or available into your system then you need to install it after installation of python pandas let's talk about the key aspects of data handling with pandas right so let's talk about the very first point which is saying that it has three data structures series data frame and panel in our cbsc syllabus of class 12 we are going to study about series and data frame not about the panel but we must have the knowledge of that okay so series is one dimensional data structure that means we can have only one column in our data structure we cannot have more than one so we call it immutable okay second is data frame data frame is two dimensional data structure that means we can have more than one columns into that and it is mutable in nature next is panel which is providing you three dimensional data structure so one functionality is this that it is working upon three data structures series data frame and panel now the next key aspect is it is able to read and write the data now i'll be showing you in my next practical that means in the same video that how to read out the data from the csv file that means ek excel sheet bani hui hai aur usme se mujhe data ko read karna hai fetch out karna theek hai and in my coming sessions i'll be telling you that how to write the data in the csv file using pandas next is data manipulation as since beginning we are talking about that pandas is used for analysis and manipulation of data so it is helpful in data manipulation my next key aspect is handling missing data that means agar meri csv file mein ya kisi bhi uh, structure mein koi bhi data miss hai to mera pandas jo hai wo usko automatically fill kar dega isme ek function hota hai fill na theek hai to hum usme data ko fill kar sakte hain that means it will not be left blank but it will be filled with one particular value okay next is data aggregation and grouping अब मुझे सम फाइंड आउट करना है मुझे काउंट करना है उसको ठीक है उसके ऊपर कोई भी कंडीशनल फॉर्मेटिंग लगानी है तो आई कैन डू इट विद द हेल्प ऑफ पांडाज एंड आई बी शोइंग यू प्रैक्टिकली सॉर्टिंग ऑफ द डेटा आई कैन अरेंज द डेटा आइदर इन असेंडिंग और इन डिसेंडिंग ऑर्डर देन डेटा विजुअलाइजेशन दैट मीन्स आई कैन प्लॉट माई डेटा ऑल्सो इन द फॉर्म ऑफ बार चार्ट लाइन चार्ट पाई चार्ट एटसेट्रा सो लेट्स टॉक अबाउट पाइथन पांडाज प्रैक्टिकली now i'll take the example of one csv file and i'll be showing you everything practically let's go okay so let me first tell you about an excel sheet okay so this is an excel sheet which i have downloaded from the google uh, let me just open it okay this is an employee list wherein the salaries of the employees are given and the status is also given whether they are full time or the part time employees in their company all right so let me first tell you that how to convert this excel sheet into the csv format okay so for that what are we going to do we'll click on save as okay let's choose the location so i'm choosing the location as download only okay in the save as type just click upon csv ms dos okay as you can see over here there is dot csv extension also which is visible So I'll choose this option, and my file name is salary dot csv. Click on save. Once I click on save, my new Excel sheet has been generated with the extension dot csv. Now this is no more an Excel sheet, but this is a csv file. Okay. Now what will I do? I will access the data of this particular csv file into my Python with the help of pandas. Right. So let's start with the coding. uh first i'll import pandas as i told you that pandas is an external library which i need to install we have successfully installed pandas so now i'm importing pandas into my python so that we can collaborate with that okay now i'm taking one object df is equal to pandas dot read csv okay now read csv is the functionality through which we can read out the data of csv file that means we can bring the data of csv file onto our python output screen okay so this is the functionality for the same and then what am i going to do i'm going to import the data from my uh 
salary.csv. So I'll be giving the complete path of that file over here. So let's move again. Just do right click, go on to the properties, copy the complete path and then come over here and paste it. One more slash, go back, copy the name of the file, control C, come back and then it is. Now change the string type, okay? Make it a double slash. And then press enter. Now if I type DF, that means if I print DF, I'll be getting the complete record of my file. Okay. Now it is showing me employee list, unnamed one, unnamed two, and then in the zeroth index, nan, nan, nan. That means there is no value. So let me just modify my CSV file. Okay. Let me delete first two rows so that my columns comes up. Okay. Press Ctrl S. Go back. Just close it. Uh, or let it be right type it again press enter df and then i'll be getting my first row as the column headings last name first name status and salary okay and this is the complete data which is there into my excel sheet now I want to just bifurcate the data. That means I want to print only the first name of the employees, right? So what will I do? DF of, because DF if, uh, is the object through which I have read out the file, okay? So DF of first name. If I write this command, I'll be getting only the first name of my employees, right? Now let me just fetch out the condition that I want to display the names of the employees who are working as a part-time okay so i'll be writing the command uh, let me just copy copy that only right and my next condition is df of status jinka status kya ho part-time ho right so i'll be writing this part-time and all okay so I got the name of the employees, first name of the employees whose status is part-time. And if I show you the part-time as well, then I have to write the query in this way. I'll be taking first name and the status in a list format. Okay. I have typed both the column names over here in this way. And I have got this. So this is how pandas work. That means just in seconds. I am able to fetch out my records, right? In Excel sheet also, we can have conditional formatting also. We can have number of formulae too. But when we talk about million or billion type of data, then your Excel becomes slow. This is the major drawback, right? And Pandas is the fastest way of fetching out the records. That's why we use Pandas. And this is the way that how the uh, how it works so i have shown you practically also so this is the beauty of pandas and in social media platforms on netflix or uh, when we talk about uh, any other platform wherein we are working upon the large amount of data sets we have pandas at the back so after learning the practical implementation of pandas uh, let's recapitulate Okay, the first point is it organizes the messy data into the tables. Number two, it finds the specific information in seconds, which we have seen just now. Then helps in creating the reports easily. And the last one is it is used in data science, AI, and real world projects. So today we have learned about the basics of pandas. That what is pandas? Why do we need pandas? And how to install it and how to work upon it. So this is only the introduction of pandas. In our next video, we'll learn about that how to create series in Pandas, right? As we have studied about three data structures, so one is series, data frame, and panel. So we'll be learning series and data frame in our coming sessions. So this is enough for the day. Thank you.